We're going to do some Dutch oven desserts tonight. I'm going to show you two different desserts. The first dessert is called monkey bread. Who here has had monkey bread? I win. Monkey bread is very easy to make. I'm going to show you how to make it. And any of you can make either one of these out on a camping trip. The other one is going to be an apple filled, I don't want to say dumpling, but it's not really a dumpling. dumpling. Let's see what you dumpling. dumpling. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do monkey bread. How many times have I told you guys that when you're going out into the woods to prepare stuff in advance? Who here, who's heard me say that? Uh, Quite a few of you here, all the adults. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's what I have done with some of the ingredients. So, quarter cup brown sugar, quarter cup of regular sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon inside of here. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to make this inside of a Dutch oven. This is a small Dutch oven. You see I have already, in advance, lined it with aluminum foil and sprayed it. So that part's done. Open these up. And I'm going to show them how I want to cut up. Biscuit. We are going to cut the biscuit into fours. So one piece is going to look like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the bag. You are going to hold the bag. Take biscuit, put in the bag. Do a little shake. Okay, that's good enough. Now with this goodness here, we're going to take this here, and we are going to put them in here. Just so you can see, don't move on the turn. So you see that? See the way it's in one kind of layer? Okay. So outside our Chimney is heating up our charcoal. Now, who knows why I do that first? Why do I do that so first? So, long. so you don't have to do it after so it doesn't take so long? So we don't have to wait, yes. It's all about figuring out what you have to do in what order. Lighting that takes about 15 minutes. So as we're doing this, guess what? That's gonna be done by the time I go out there. The charcoal is all heated up now, so I'm going to turn this over and a whole bunch of charcoal is going to come out. This is a Dutch oven table. <laughs> this is designed to heat charcoal on. Do not put this on one of our white tables. It will not end well. So I got a nice pile over here. Probably about 10 or 12 pieces. I'm going to take my Dutch oven and I'm going to put it on top of it. And then I'm going to take some of the coals and I'm going to put it on top because we're baking it, right? So you're going to put heat on the bottom and heat on the top. Okay. Are we ready to make magic? Okay. So the first thing we do is we take a piece of bread. And we are going to cut it. So you're taking the crust off. Take our rolling pin. And we are going to flatten our bread. Take some apple. Oh. Are you making us fly? We are going to roll it so that the seam is on the bottom. Once we go outside with these, we're going we're gonna to dip it into the egg mixture. The egg mixture is like French toast mixture. Some egg, some milk, and a little bit of vanilla. That's all that's in this mixture. And we're going to coat it inside of there, and then we're going to put it on the hot griddle. Add some butter. Butter makes it so it doesn't stick. 
Now I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna roll it in this mixture here. And I am gonna put it. Oh yeah, maybe it's a French toast type of thing. But it's yeah. just a crab. At some point, you're gonna take this and you're gonna turn it over. And you want to get all of the sides cooking. You don't like the short sides. Here is simply cinnamon, cinnamon and sugar. Cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon sugar. sugar. It's a half a cup of sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon. And you take the cinnamon, you take these in here like oh this. Oh my god, this just can't get any better. Does it get better? Oh, it's getting better. It already looks amazing. Look at that. It can't get better. This is 